Exponential equations. You will find this on page 201 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Exponential and logarithmic equations. Let's first focus on exponential equations in this video. An exponential equation is an equation with a variable in the index. In section 5.1, we solved exponential equations using indices, but only some exponential equations can be solved using indices. However, all exponential equations can be solved using logarithms. Let's just smile like this. So, a property to solve exponential equations. If m, n, and a are positive numbers and a is not equal to 1, then if you say m equals n, you can put a log in front and a log in front. But then you have to put it on both sides. Okay, so let's look at this example. Solve for x. If the answer is not exact, give your answer correct to three significant figures. So, Put a lock on this side, put a lock, and now follow the rules of locks. So you can the power law, bring it down, okay? And now you can say divide lock free, divide lock free. You can press it on your calculator, and the answer will be free. The same, put a lock on both sides, bring the x down. So divide lock 5, divide lock, press it on your calculator. Put a lock on both sides. Um, in, in this case, this one cannot be solved by e indices, cannot be solved, whereby this one could have been solved by indices because you could have made the basis the same. Okay, put a lock on both sides, bring the x down, the power law, divide by log for, um, 0 0.5, divide by log 0 0.5, and that's your final answer. Okay, um, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now 29 number A, um, number E, as well as number I. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start with number A. Okay, so it's 64x equals 60. Okay, so in this case, I'm just going to say, I'm going to, uh, you can solve it with exponents also. I want to show you both indices. But let's first do it the way with logs, because that's the easiest to do it with logs. And then it's x log 64 equals log 16. Divide log 64 Divide log 64. And, and you can just basically press it on your calculator by pressing log 16, log 16, divide log 64 equals, and okay, it's going to give you that two thirds, 0 0.6666, which is two thirds. If I do it, and I want to show you, if I did it with indices, I want to show you both, then I'm just going to, t um, the prime factors of 64, can you still remember? That's easy. It's 2 to the power of 6. Otherwise, just use your method. So it's 2 to the power of 6. 16 is 2 to the power of 4. And then I'm just going to say, okay, 6, and that's x. So it's going to be 2 to the power 6x equals 2 to the power 4. So 6x is equal to 4. I divide 6, I divide 6, so therefore the value of x is 2 over 3. And that's the final. If I look at the next one, um, that's one number e. So 5 to the power of 2x equals 13. So I put logs on both sides. This one cannot be solved with indices. So I just, this is then very easy, just using your calculator, put log on both sides. First the power law, bring it down. Then 
Then I divide by log 5. I divide by log 5. So I will have 2x equals, so it will be log 13 divide log 5. So I don't approximate, just keep it on your calculator. And then I divide 2, and then I divide 2. And then my f answer of x, three significant figures. If I'm going to 3, I just want to control it here. This is number E. So it's 0 0.7, 0 0.79. Can I just get that pen correct? 0 0.7. 797 and that's correct to three significant figures okay that was number E now I have to make space okay now this is number I so it's 0 0.5 to the power of X equals 3 so it's log 0.5x equals log 3. So it's x log 0.5 equals log 3. Divide log 0.5, what I do on one side, I do on the other side, 0.5. And then I press it on my calculator, so it's log 3 divide log 0 0.5 equals, and the value of x will be a negative 1.58, three significant, negative 1.58, and that's correct to three significant figures, and that's the answer. Okay. Okay, and now the final um, example. Let's just look at the final example. Solve x if your answer is not, give your answer correct to 3. So be careful. In this case, before you put the logs, just isolate that. And how do you, you divide it by 4? And then you can put your logs. Okay, and then you can simplify. This case, it's already isolated. Put your logs, bring it down. Now we divide first by log 7 and then you can just add two on the other side. Again, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do for me number A, just two, we can just do number A. And um, let's do number D. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's just move it up. Okay, let's start, number A. So it's 2, 5 to the power of x equals 18. So now, this you must, this is almost like two things, it's a multiply. So first divide by 2, divide by 2. But you first just isolate this, which is 9. Now you will put lock on both sides. And now you can do the power law. And now you can divide log 5, and you divide log 5. And now you're going to say log 9, log 9, divide log 5 equals, okay, and the value of x is equal, so that's number 13, the value of x is 1.37. Okay, and then the final one, let's do, and again, I'm going to make space for that. The final one, it's 8x plus 1 equals 20. Now, you can just put lock on both sides first. Now, take that in front. It's almost like it's like this.
Okay, then I divide log 8 and I divide log 8. Okay, now I will have x plus 1 is equal, okay, now I think we, I'm going to do it a bit different so that you can press it in 1. It's going to be the log 20 divide log 8 minus 1. So it's going to be log 20 divide log 8 equals minus 1 equals and the answer is 0 0.441. If you do it correct, two three significant figures. Okay, and that's the final. Practice as many as possible that you really become comfortable in doing exponential equations, but you are using logs to solve the exponential equations.